Hi guys, and welcome to the very first episode of City Economy. I guarantee I'll be playing this a heck of a lot more because I've been looking forward to this game for so long. It did get pushed back a little bit just to get some fine tuning done to it, but it has finally released on Steam. So very much looking forward to actually playing this. The gist of this game is that you play as multiple services servicing a city. I'm not quite sure what city it is, but I'd assume it's German. Even though the game's made in Poland, it's uh, published by Astragon, and of course Astragon, geez, I don't know what I'd be doing without them, because they make absolutely amazing and some crazy simulators. I mean, I think they even published Fireworks Simulator, but that's a story for another day, I think. Anyways, so we've got rubbish trucks that we can control, grass cutters, and I haven't really played too much of this because I wanted to actually record it. So... I did get this as a press copy as well, so I might be biased in favor of this game, but I mean, Astragon also gave me, what was it, Coast Guard, and that game was an abject failure, so I mean, at least I like to think I keep a bit of integrity in me. So we've got Arsenal Robert, I'll create LP so I know because I already created a different account. We can choose what our character looks like. It seems like, is that a woman? And I'm not quite sure. That's a very masculine looking woman though. Uh, let's just go with a bearded fellow and we can choose our company logo which doesn't really bother me and then we've got to difficulty level now difficulty in these types of games just pretty much how much of a grind there is all it really does is affect the uh, amount of money that you get i'm going to play on easy uh, because of course we don't want to grind too long doing the same thing over and over again and so you see it says here we've got the garbage we've got gardening plumbers oh nice hopefully we'll see our guys plumbers crack uh, we've got a tow truck and a street sweeper. Now, there was a street sweeper simulator. I remember um, PewDiePie actually went ahead and played it. And then for that time period, while the video was like the main one of his channel, had a heck of a lot of views on that street sweeper video. I think there's a fair amount of people that actually came in with that video as well. One bad thing about this game, though, that I've noticed is that the initial load time is quite long. If only I invested in a SSD that was a little bit larger. Unfortunately, it can pretty much just hold my main programs like, well, obviously the operating system and Adobe and a couple of editing programs, but that's about it. And the glory of 128 gigabytes. All right, so here we go. Welcome to City Economy. Congratulations on your first day as the owner of a city service business. To start your work, find a city official waiting for you nearby with a quest. If you need it, Look for advice in the upper left corner of the screen or in the menu. There's a lot of work in the city for you, so you better get to it. Good luck. Alright, so here's a city worker. Seems like these Syrian immigrants have already taken over. Starting off with the council. Playing this on max settings as well. One weird thing that I've noticed about the game is that when you press escape, there actually isn't any menu. It brings up this tablet. Seems like the uh, time is a little bit out of place there. Uh, but you need to exit to the menu to actually go into options and all that so that's a little bit annoying but other than that let's go talk to this refugee council worker all right let's go see what he says we've pressed f to accept garbage contract hello welcome to our city and to the residential district my name is tom i'm from city hall the district hasn't had a contract with a decent garbage collection company for quite a while it's good to have you on board whoever said i'm decent though I have the first assignment ready for you. There are some garbage containers to empty. Yes, of course, I'm ready for the job. So, it seems like the city will get happier with us. We'll get a bit of XP and a bit of Euros as well. So, let's go ahead and accept that. And it seems like there's some story quests and all. We've got a recycling truck. But that's not the truck we're taking. We are taking this orange one. Alright. Press E to get in. Pretty simple stuff. What you'd expect. Now, I've also noticed that the sound gets so incredibly annoying in this game as well. Let's make sure we wait until everyone drives past and then we'll be able to go forth. Now, there's no cockpit view as well. That's one problem that many people have been having. But, I like driving in this view anyway, so it doesn't really bother me all that much. I'm going to have to turn right here. And, of course, it is a simulation. I know how many of you guys like it when... Oh, lordy. What did I just smash into? Who knows? It says I've got a ticket, I think. Got to watch out for that. So, we need to pick up these... 
Green light is a green light. And we're driving on the opposite side of the road because, of course, it is Germany. I'd assume, anyway. It's some European city. So, yeah, there's no turn signals. That's a bit of an issue, but not the end of the world. So, let's go ahead and just park out over here. And we actually need to get out of our vehicle. Ooh, look at that. It's starting to rain. Let's get out of here. Open truck arms first. So, we press this big dot. As it implies. There we go. There's the track arms. Looks like a T-Rex or something with the tiny arms. Let's go ahead and pick up the dumpster. And then we need to push it. We are struggling mighty, mighty hard. Now let's go ahead and uh, mount the dumpster on the truck. And then we press the buttons yet again. With F. We get a nice little cutscene though. Alright. And then we go on to the next little dumpster, or dump truck, well, dumpster, really. Don't stop you doing a good job, thank you. So we need to bring those arms back in, otherwise we'll be capped to like, oh, I don't know, 20 miles an hour, or 20 kilometers an hour, some very slow speed, so we don't want that. Um, it seems like the rest of the dumpsters are on this road so let's follow up over here I'm at least I'm thinking that's the case any over here oh yes there is one over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably break some safety regulations and rules but we're gonna drive over here because some oh so selfish people have blocked our way I mean if we had a tow truck I would definitely move these cars out of the way what are they doing they're literally blocking the dump truck. So, so selfish of them. So let's go ahead and do this. We need to do this four times. And then we'll be able to hopefully do something a little bit different. I wonder how many times we actually need to do this dump truck mission before we're able to move on. I'll right, press this. I like how the game actually tells us, it babies us almost on what to do because I would definitely forget after the very first thing. That good old short short term memory loss. So now let's Oh actually we can just keep driving forward. I wonder if we can drive over the lady. I wonder what happens then. Oh nice. Please be careful you've got a ticket for hitting a pedestrian. Okay. Maybe not so nice but Oh hello. We've got some magazines. We've got the Businessman Magazine, Vehicles, Coco Travel. If only they had page 3 on the Daily Mail or something of the sort. Or the Sun. What? It, in the Yeah, the Sun is the paper with all the cleavage-clad women on the um, front, isn't it? Alright, what I'm going to have to do is actually move on page 3. That's why they're called page 3 women, after all. Alright, let's go ahead and bring out the arms oh actually no they're already out silly me we have to go to the back of the dumpster and now we're able to do our magic seems like the uniform that we're wearing is pretty much your international uniform for all council workers because they wear very similar stuff in Australia at least. All right, we're going to have to bring the arm back in. And now we're able to actually go forth and recycle a little bit more. Actually it says how full we are as well. We're at 30%. What I have to do is just wait up for all these guys and then do a U-turn, I think. Well, stop for me, please. AI in these types of games is usually pretty bad. I mean, it's just there as a placeholder. The city would definitely feel out of place without any vehicles in it, of course, but... The AI definitely isn't something to write home about. That's for certain. But there are a lot of cars here. Oops. What's the handbrake? Let's have a look. 
I'm not quite sure what the handbrake is. We've got the um, the settings on the right hand side anyway on the tab, so that's good. I should check that out once we get back in the vehicle. Let's go ahead and do the last dump truck. Now I've got a couple of emails flashing as well, which can get pretty annoying. Don't think there's a way that we can turn them off. We just need to actually read the emails. Just realized our wheels have gone through the other dumpster. Hopefully that doesn't damage us anymore. Well, let's go ahead and put that down. Beautiful. So we've completed the task. Okay, people seem to be happy, so that's always nice. Seems like we're good, actually. Okay. So... Okay, let's reverse a little bit. Cause a little bit more damage. Um, handbrake is Q. Very weird button for handbrake, but I guess that'll work too. Alright. So we're going to go around, I think. That's probably the best bet. Because I think I need to get rid of this um, truck though, don't I? Let's get in this lane. If only I could indicate. But I cannot. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to cut across. Because ain't nobody got time to wait. Especially on a part one episode. Whoa. Thankfully the AI actually does slow down right in front of you though. Let's go check out what this thing does. I guess we can repair our vehicle here for a cost oops this is not good enough park I would say not Did that take any money from us oh yeah it does 17 17 what I guess euros uh, so we need to start the actually get rid of the um, handbrake that's an idea thankfully that actually didn't do any damage thankfully I don't drive any of these big trucks that would be definitely a big shame if I did probably end up costing the company a little bit more than I'd be making for them oi stop for me you blue car All right. very cloudy very smoggy. Alright, so I'm not even sure where we came out from. I think it's over here. Actually, no, a little bit further on, actually. Look at that. Oh, that is disgusting. You just got rubbish everywhere there. So, do we need to drive back over here? I guess so. Ooh. Or are we free to... No, it doesn't seem like we actually need to stop. Anyway. Don't need to pull the handbrake up as well when we're exiting so that's always nice because that'd get pretty annoying let's have a look at oh we need to collect our quest reward a job well done thanks there are more of us from the city hall in the district you can find us on the map too good luck good luck to you too my friends hopefully we don't deport you all right um so how else can we move around the city i guess we can't steal vehicles can we i would assume not Let's have a look. No. Okay. That would be pretty funny if we were able to do that, though. So, before this bugs me anymore... Ah, here we go. We can accept different missions. So, we can do recycling. Or we can do garbage collection. Uh, let's go check out these emails. We've got a letter from the mayor. Oh, we can buy new vehicles as well. Let's go to the shop. There we go. Buildings. Oh, Interesting. Very weird prices, all end in 99, I guess, for the psychology factor to make us think it's a little bit cheaper than they are. Alright, that's cool. So it seems like we can create our own company. But I can't talk to this guy anymore. So, what I'm, actually, I think the only, ooh, what did I just do? I pressed tab. What does that do? Oh, okay. So I guess we can spawn to the vehicles that we have currently. So it's only these two. All right. 
Um, so, what I want to do now is go to plastic collection, go accept job. Alright. And we've got one whole day to do the mission. Okay. <laughs> Don't think we'll be having too many problems with that. I'm looking forward to actually seeing how this works. Cool. Alright. Not the greatest when it comes to damage, am I? But I find that the gear shifting sound is mighty obnoxious. Grinds my gears after quite a while. I mean, it's all we hear. At least we've only got four things to collect. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, and over here on the top left, you can also see how much money we've got. So we've got a, a lot of it. I guess maybe that's what we can buy. Yeah, I guess that's what we can buy with. Like these new vehicles. Uh, so I'm just going to cut across over here. Hopefully no one's in our way. It doesn't seem like it. I've got to say, it's been one year on. Yeah, the game definitely does load up a little bit. I'm playing this on maxed out settings. Unfortunately, I can't show you what the settings are because, of course, that means I have to exit to the menu. I don't think you can just drop right into the game like that. And it needs to load up again, so that's a bit annoying. We'll have to check that out, though. But it's been a year since Construction Simulator as well, and that game was a heck of a lot of fun. That game was a definite surprise, though. I can't believe how popular it got. I mean, that's actually my most viewed video, the part one of that uh, construction sim video. The comments on the really popular videos are always very funny, though. Alright. So what do we do over here? So these are these green dumpsters, and I guess we do the exact same thing. It's just a different paint job of the vehicle, really. Alright, so let's exit. Do the presseroo. Alright. So that's fairly simple. So let's go do this mission. Of course, we've got to move it back as well. Silly old me wanting to drive the truck already. Uh, I think there was one right around here. Oh, that's a bit of a trek. That's too much of a trek. So we're going to press this again. And out we go. Now, I know I've definitely, of course, slacked off. I mean, for the past two years, I haven't really been very consistent on the videos on this channel. I mean, I've let the channel die quite considerably, which is very sad as well, but um, I think the way that this is going to, the channel is going to go, I think, is just um, focusing more or less on um, mod videos, because let's play, oh, well, apart from simulator videos, because I mean, I do like to talk a fair bit, I mean, it's a great creative outlet creating videos, but um, I think they're probably the best way for me to keep the channel going and actually grow is to focus on um, mod type videos for different games because there's a massive interest in that and the videos can be nice and short instead of so I do run two channels now focusing a little bit more on my game channel actually now because of course there's a lot of uh, views in mobile games and lots of people play them and I feel like the companies in terms of mobile gaming are a lot more friendly almost. Um, why can't I drive? I can't believe I had my um, handbrake on, but I guess I did. Alright, so we need to go around... I'm not quite sure where. Let's reverse here. And go around the block. And hopefully that'll lead us to where we need to go. Seems like that is what we need to do. Got a very nice green alley over here, though. I do love a bit of greenery around the suburban areas. Alright, where is this dump truck? Or dumpster? Um, I think there's one there. Right? Oh, if only I could see through the trees. There's this one. Okay. I 
I think I'm going to have to cut across here. What I'm going to do is drive on the footpath. And I guess the other one's on the other side. So it shouldn't be too bad. I think we had a church bell ringing. Let's see if it's synced up to... No, it's 12.18 here. In PM. Where I'm recording, so... It would be cool if it's synced up. Oh, wow. Look at the um, reflection on the windscreen. That's actually very impressive. Very few games actually have reflections. Because... I suppose that getting reflections in a game is very difficult to do because sometimes um well for the most part what they do is they need to render the game twice which of course is very inefficient maybe it's because i'm playing on max settings though the game does stutter a fair bit i've noticed and you guys will probably notice as well in the video um where did i place it? it's uh around here it wasn't So we're going to have to reverse out of here and look a little bit more. Keep going. We are. Let's just press the dinosaur arms back here. Look how tiny they are. All right. Oh, shit. What happens when we're stuck? I think, I, what if I press tab? Because it says moving to truck. I wonder why it takes so long to actually load up. Alright. So that's that. Oh, I just heard a big bang. That's not good. Hopefully it like respawns our car in a decent place. I wonder if it does that. Nope. So what now? What if you're stuck? And this is the problem with the physics engines in these types of games. Um... We have hit a bit of an issue. And it seems like I'm just doing more and more damage to the vehicle. There's got to be something here that you can do, though. What if I exit? Um, what's this? I guess that's a council work commission. Okay. Let's see how big the island is. Very small. The map reminds me of Grand Theft Auto 3 for some reason. Um, how can I fix this little issue that we've got? And we got ourselves into quite a conundrum. Maybe I can get the other vehicle and smash into it or something. Wow, this is definitely a pickle. Um, okay, we can refuel. Oh, wow. And we can repair right away like that. Jump to truck. Okay. I don't want to do that. It is nice that we've got all these options. But, oh wow. So also skill points. Alright. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing this. It's only five different um, missions that we can choose from though. Oh wow, we can speed up the time. Oh shoot. But we failed it. Okay. <laughs> we failed the mission because I sped it up too much. Alright, so what I'm going to have to do is um, get out of there because that was annoying, that sound. And, well, at least we now know what not to do. Definitely don't do that. So, before we get out of this episode, what I want to do... It seems like I spent a lot of money on something. Wait, I just pressed tab again, didn't I? Wait, we only got this one vehicle? Or did I move to the green truck? Who knows? Who knows what's happening? That's the best thing about farming sim. You can just um, fluidly move from one truck to the other. So I'm definitely going to have to find out how to refresh. Oh, we can even press jump to truck. Oh, okay. That sounds interesting. But let's go ahead and... Oh, why did I press tab? I keep on pressing tab. I've been playing too much Just Cause. That's my problem. But what I can do is come up over here and... Are we going to be able to quick travel? No, not really. All right. Doesn't seem like we are able to travel, unfortunately. 
Got different areas that we could go into as well. Very nice. Suburbia Industrial Park and Old Town. At the moment, we're in the residential district. Got our missions. So, I think you can also spend money on other people as well. Or oh, we can take loans on other workers and you create your own business. A bit like construction sim as well. So, it seems like they've been following that type of game. Let's go exit to the menu. Are you sure you want to quit the game? Might as well. Alright, so that's how that works. Let's have a look at our options. And so this is that. I might uh, disable display synchronization, I think. Um, and this is my performance options. It's pretty much maxed out. At least I'm pretty sure it is. None of these really go up to super high or ultra or anything. So, till next time though, guys. We'll be back very soon with City Economy. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first episode. We'll definitely be back, hopefully within couple of hours with the second episode we'll have to wait and see but i'll see you again very shortly